A Bristol startup claims they've cracked the code on getting high without drugs, using nothing but your phone's flashlight and some fancy audio. Welcome to 2025, where we're literally trying to trip ourselves into enlightenment with the same device we use to doom scroll. Luminate promises to guide your brain into what they call a semi-psychedelic state. They use stroboscopic light patterns and binaural audio to mess with your brain waves through neural entrainment. Basically, your brain starts syncing to the flashing light rhythm, supposedly shifting you into altered consciousness. Here's where it gets interesting. Imperial College London is actually studying this thing alongside DMT experiences. That's not some wellness blog validation. That's serious psychedelic research territory. When neuroscientists are comparing your app to actual psychedelics, you're either onto something revolutionary or creating the world's most elaborate placebo. The user reports are wild. People describing vivid fractals, time distortion, and dissociative experiences. One reviewer said it felt like ketamine. Another person with aphantasia, who literally cannot visualize anything, suddenly started seeing colors and patterns. That's either incredible neuroscience or the most specific placebo effect in history. But let's talk reality checks. The app comes loaded with epilepsy warnings. You're staring directly into a strobing phone light for 20 minutes. The disclaimers are longer than most terms of service, which should tell you something about the intensity they're claiming. The pricing is actually reasonable. It's a one-time purchase, not a subscription trap. They even offer free access if you can't afford it. Now for the verdict. This is either innovative consciousness technology or an expensive way to give yourself a mild seizure while listening to weird sounds. But the research backing is legitimate, user experiences are consistent, and actress Rosamund Pike joined as creative director after trying it herself. When Hollywood talent signs on based on personal experience, that's usually telling. For the price of a decent dinner, you're getting access to what might be groundbreaking consciousness technology. Given that actual psychedelics require significant preparation and legal considerations, having a legal alternative that serious researchers are studying feels worth the experiment.